Okay, welcome back to part two in the Stuart engine series. This week we're going to be making a fixture plate and there'll be some interesting uh, ideas on how to hold the plate in the mill with masking tape and how to square it up, um, how we can grind it and get it uh, as close as we can to being square. So I hope you enjoy it. Okay, so what we have here is my idea of how to find the middle of this thing. So I've made this piece of stuff. It fits in there, just fits neatly between those two bearing journals and snugly in the core hole there and it sits it sits flat on that. Um, but because what I need to do is what we're going to what we're going to do is bolt this to our fixture plate that we've been so carefully making, but we can't bolt it down until we've got holes in here. So we need to accurately draw holes, a uh, drill holes in these mounting lugs here. So we have the problem now of how do we line this up at least semi accurately on the milling machine, and how do we clamp it down? So what I can easily do is clamp on that piece of wood with some toe clamps and then and I can adjust it from there. So if I if I attach this cast iron to this piece of wood, I'll be fine. So the easy way to do that, I'm hoping, is with some good old masking tape. So we put some masking tape on our mating surfaces like this. Make sure they don't overlap. Right, now, rub that down, and now the trick, we could trim that, but we probably don't need to bother, we put some on here as well. And now what we do is we take some super glue. Make sure there's no junk on there. So you might just trim that with a razor blade. Just to be neat. Okay. So then we just put a bit of uh don't do that. Doesn't really matter. The old wire brush will get rid of that. Yeah, we don't have to really line it up too well, but we want it roughly in the middle. Now, yeah. we're pretty stuck. And all we need to do is to toe clamp on there. Okay, so here's the setup. We've got it taped down. Uh, we've got the uh, the guide bar in there and we've got, because we don't know if it's flat or not, we've put a, a square block on there and uh, run the indicator along there. We've uh, got it clamped down and that's as good as we can get it to make sure that it's straight. Doesn't really matter too much if we've got it wrong, but... Uh, it's our best it's our best guess so now we've just got to line up these holes and drill them out okay so I've got the drill chuck here and I've got this uh, piece of rod in uh, it's 
It's a um, pretty uh, straight rod and turn it on you can see it's pretty much bang on lined up with that that lug there. So we'll set the DRO on that and uh, then we'll set up for the other one. Of course this end we've run into clearance problems with this um, flange here so I couldn't use my end mill so what I'll do is I'll just use this um, uh, this carbide um, short drill that I've got it's a countersink drill and I'll just use that as a center drill just to make a little start for it So after all that rigmarole, we're finally ready to drill a hole, and I'm drilling 3.5, and I'm going to ream it four millimeters. Okay, so we've got all four holes drilled and reamed. Now we just have to get our Casting off of this tape down surface, which shouldn't be too hard. Normally, it just takes a bit of a bit of a gentle prying. There we go, and up she comes straight up. And we've got no glue residue, no problems, and we've got the coordinates. Of, we've got the coordinates of these holes exactly, uh, so we know the distance apart, and now. Okay, so we've got this clamp to the angle plate, so that should make sure it's 90 degrees that direction. And I've tapped it in uh, using this um, indicator on the mill, and that's zero, that's right on zero there. And if I take it up to the top, Exactly zero is there as well. So if we uh, clean up that top face, uh, we should be able to see where we are. We should be pretty pretty good, and we can verify it with the squareness comparator. So I'll put another clamp on there, tighten these up a bit more, and um, then we'll hit it with the mill. Okay, so now we've squared it up in the mill. Uh, the idea is it's pretty square. It's within on the squareness comparator. It's within a, about a thou, thou or two. So now what we'll do is I've already um, ground the other end, and we'll grind this end. And what that will do is uh, we will we will be able to know exactly how high it is because once this is ground, we'll take a couple of thou off of this, take it down 
and then what we can do is measure the squareness error and we can flip this 90 degrees and come down from our known datum and take one side down and then put it back and correct for the error that we've measured so and, and improve on what we've got and see if we can get it uh, even better within Okay, if I measure this very carefully, this base here just uh, presses against the base, and I measure that as uh, 1.7 close to me. So that's plus 1.7, and we know this is parallel. So then we can measure the other side. That's minus 1.6. So, um, the, so, so, because this is minus, this bottom edge here is too high. So, the bottom edge needs to come down one point enough to make that 1.6 so if we take a thousandth off of that bottom right hand corner uh, we should get it closer so what we do is we put it into the surface grinder and we can take the surface grinder down a thousandth and and take up to that edge there to that edge and that will then rock it uh, and we'll get a better reading on the top so okay so you can see with rotated this 90 degrees um, we want to take a thousandth of an inch off of this end okay after much faffing around this is where we're at that's one tenth one tenth, one ten thousandth, actually that was a zero, about a tenth under. It's getting to the point where the heat of my, the heat affects it. And that's two tenths over. So I'm within about a tenth of a thousandth of an inch of being square so I think probably that's good enough for a steam engine okay so we're set up in the milling machine and I've used the edge finder on both edges to find the center and then I've used the DRO to measure uh, exactly the dimension that I've calculated which is uh, 28 26.935 and uh, We've center pop that uh, center drilled that edge, and that's our zero zero. So now, because I've got the coordinates uh, that I noted down before, I can drill the same hole pattern here as we had uh, when we drilled the original hole pattern, and we should get exactly the same layout. All right, well. There was a bit of play using these Allen bolts, so I made some studs, machined them up so that they were a much tighter fit. Did that off camera. Oh, there we go. It's pretty good, and there's no zero play now. Zero. Tighten that up with some 
Right, well that's it for this week. We've got our fixture plate and the next episode will be milling out the end flange that mounts the cylinder. So I hope you join me for that one. <music>